Hiya friends, Prepared Suburbanite back at ya. Are you serious enough about your operational security, your home security, your homestead security, um, to invest in blackout curtains? Well, I just did, and I want to review some of the things that I've learned and some of the things that uh, um, need to be said about blackout curtains. So stick around. So, uh, around the uh, holiday weekend, uh, the New Year's holiday weekend, I uh, just um, I saw a video about operational security and uh, um, possible use of blackout curtains. And I, so I went looking around and I thought, well, maybe I'll just run down to Walmart and see what they got. And then thought better of that because I probably wouldn't be able to find exactly what I was looking for because I wanted to make sure I had the right color and the right size and all that. So I spent a little bit of time measuring stuff up. I got different size windows. Got a five, I got two five-footers in my office and then these, uh, um, I guess, 38, 39 inchers that I'm standing in front of right now in our front living room. And uh, so I said, okay, um, I'm going to go to Amazon and just see what they got. And here's what I saw. Right here, uh, you can see the curtains. Um, a relatively good price for um, a two-panel set that uh, are 84 inches tall, so that's seven feet, and uh, can expand to cover the, the five-foot-plus uh, windows in my office. And then I picked up a second set, uh, two of these for these uh, uh, living room windows here that are 38 or 39 inches wide, uh, 84 inches tall. And I picked up the, uh, the rods that go with them because these have got um, the big circle kind of things that the rod slides through um, on, the, on the top rather than the little hooky things that you use for uh, other types of curtains. But I think that's just the style of these. I'm sure you can get blackout curtains uh, um, in a lot of kind of different configurations. But I was impressed with the selection that um, this group had on, um, from, uh, on Amazon as far as the color selection, size selection. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. So whatever size windows you've got, however tall they may be, um, this company has uh, quite the range. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could get uh, the curtains in a dark green color. And so I picked dark green with my fingers crossed, hit the uh, order button, and the first pair came in. And we, we put them up in our office, and I was amazed, totally amazed, at how much light, the incoming light, that these things block. It, it just, it, it makes it so dark in the office that you need to turn the lights on to be able to see your hand in front of your face. And I thought, that's exactly what I was looking for. The dark green color um, is the right color. It accents uh, uh, quite a lot of our furniture and stuff in our house. So I picked up a second set for the other big picture window in the office. And then I also picked up the two, uh, two panel ones for the 39 inches that I'm standing in front of right now. So um, they are um, absolutely amazing. From the outside looking in at night, um, you can't see a light coming through there. So in the event that there's a uh, grid down situation, you lose power, uh, whatever, and you flip on your generator. Now we've got a whole house uh, Generac generator that uh, three to five seconds, the house is right back on uh, uh, generator power. So uh, the lights are gonna come right back on. And I certainly, in an SHTF kind of a situation, a grid down situation where uh, nobody's quite sure what happened, 
I don't want to be the only house in the neighborhood with lights on. So the, that's the reason for the blackout curtains is that I can make sure that everything's closed down. Um, light's not going to be emanating from any windows in the house, on, at least on this side of the house. I think I've got uh, two more sets of the um, five foot, six foot wide ones to, uh, to purchase for our den where we spend most of our time uh, with a TV room and uh, the back deck uh, doorway out there. So, but with that said, I just want to make sure that I'm not the only house in the neighborhood with lights on. I don't want to draw that kind of attention. So operational security wise, yep, it's uh, really worth the time and trouble to uh, invest a little bit of money into these. And like I said, the curtains for the tall ones that are six feet wide uh, were 35 bucks and the, the rods that go with them were 24. So for $59 plus tax, you can uh, uh, cover a, a good size picture window with these. And I think it's well worth the investment. So with that said, the other reason, uh, obviously I'm a YouTube creator, is I wanted to experiment a little bit more with green screen background kind of stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll play around with that here while I'm talking so that you can see what's going on with, uh, with that kind of stuff. But these dark green uh, curtains really do a super, super job of um, being able to blend in and provide the right kind of green screen background that YouTube creators are looking for when they want to superimpose their um, face, their picture, over a different background. And I've experimented in the past with uh, uh, green screen uh, technology and was sort of okay with it, but I couldn't find the right color. I think these are the right color for um, green screen applications. So, but priority wise, they're really designed for operational security. I'd like to know from you all if uh, you've had any experience with blackout curtains, if you think they're a worthwhile investment, if you don't, the pros and cons, anything from uh, your perspective I think would be uh, very helpful. So this is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.